retired London schoolmaster, whose books are said to have revolutionized maths teaching in Britain, is exporting his ideas to the United States. According to, Jay, uh, to Jack Hames, whose latest book has just been published, boring teaching methods have put youngsters off their sums for life. Traditional maths teaching, a blackboard, chalked up figures and heads bent over plain old-fashioned exercise books. According to Jack Hames, for some children, that's a recipe for boredom and a mental block about maths for the rest of their lives. A teacher for 30 years, he reckons children learn far more from thinking aloud and what he calls thinking visibly. What's happening here is the children are starting with what's in their mind and they're putting forward their premise and then they're becoming convinced and then they're going later on to discuss it, they're going to argue about what they feel. Sometimes they may even change their mind and that's accepted, surely. That's a way of learning is to change your mind and then in fact they become convinced and they may even change their mind the next time and kind of come to a refined thought. But it's their thought and it'll stick with them a lot better than it would if they were merely told to remember something. So today's youngsters learn from books like this one, working things out for themselves, making mistakes, discussing their problems and it seems quickly getting to grips with what all those abstract ideas they're taught in standard lessons really mean. And suddenly, maths are fun. It's a lot better fun than the ordinary ones and I think that if, pe if children are enjoying themselves, they learn better. So do you think that everyone should have a chance of doing these sort of sums? Yes. Well, uh, I think they should because they're quite good fun. They change from maths, the ordinary maths. Do you think they help your ordinary maths? Yes, you can understand them better. Well, it's different than usual. It's not as boring either because it's different colours you can use as well with felt tips. Mr Hames says parents could learn a lot from this system too and in September the scene here at Eltham Church of England Primary School could be repeated in classrooms right across America. Secondary school for their children are lower than for years. Before 1982 more than 90% of parents got their first choice. By 1983 it had dropped to less than 86%. Last year it was 82%. Parents who get the worst deal of all are in Lewisham, where one in ten complained, and Greenwich, where one in twenty lodged an appeal. These parents all have an axe to grind. Each has an 11-year-old boy they wanted to send to this school, one of the most popular in Greenwich. They were told they couldn't. They appealed and lost. Their children now attend another school in the borough, and it must be said they're perfectly happy with the way they've settled in there. What's annoyed them, they say, is a transfer and appeals procedure they found to be a shambles. As I understood it, the chairman of the tribunal should really have listened to both cases 